Here's how to lower your creatinine and raise your GFR up to 10 points, following exactly what this study did. Now, what they did here, they used a low protein diet, and the people in the study had a GFR of 15 to 45. And they used a low protein diet that was 0.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. So 0.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. And that's how much protein you'd be eating and you want to stick to daily. Next, they used a supplement of uh, B6, okay, called pyridoxamine. Now that's really hard to get in the US. They don't sell it here. It's not available over the counter. If you want to get it overseas, fine. The next thing, best thing to use would be a supplement, a cousin of that called P5P, and you wanna do 50 milligrams once a day. That's what they did in the study, but you could go as high as twice a day. It's very safe, okay to use, really good for your kidneys. Next, there's a supplement called NAC, or NAC, or N-acetylcysteine is the name of this, a powerful antioxidant, shown tremendous benefits in a lot of studies. They use a very low dose here. We're gonna go with uh, 900 to 1,000 milligrams twice a day, 900 to 1,000 milligrams per pill of NAC twice per day. And that's what they did in this study. They saw improvements at the six month, uh, mark month is when they looked and they checked and they said, hey, we got higher GFRs, you know, lower creatinines, better quality of life. And this study was out of the Journal Associations of the Physicians India, May 2022.